Hi, I'm Dave Curtis with Lance's Products. Today we're here to talk about the Line Acceptance Smart Box Complete Air Test Kit. I want to show you some of the accessories that we have in this box to be able to completely uh, and with one single uh, shot do your testing to do a line acceptance test for manhole to manhole. Once you've removed everything out of the Smart Box Test Kit, We'll show you all the uh, different components that you need for this air test. You have your 8 to 12 back plug for blocking the back end of the line with your inflation line to be able to make sure that with the gauge, make sure you properly uh, monitor the pressure in that plug. We have our air test panel, triple hose, and an 8 to 12 front test plug to be able to do the test. The kit does also come complete with an air hand pump for you to be able to inflate the plugs if needed. Uh, we have an air source provided for us here, so we won't need to use this today. All right, first step that you would go through on doing a line acceptance air test would be to install your back plug and inflate it to seal the uh, one end of the line. Always remember that safety comes first and foremost in priority. Make sure you have some kind of blocking and bracing to secure your plug from being dislodged from the pipe. With our air source, we're now going to inflate the plug. Now that the plug's inflated and we've got it to the proper inflation pressure, we're ready to move to the front plug, install it, same procedure, make sure it's blocked and braced and secured correctly, and then we can start our air test. All right, now that we have the front plug ready to go, we're going to go ahead and install it to the front of our pipe. And again, making sure that we have our blocking and bracing in place to make sure that the plug does not come dislodged. Now we're ready to start the air test. Anytime you're working with any of our air test panels, you want to make sure always to zero out your regulator. Now that we're ready to go, we've got all our valves closed. We're ready to open up to actually uh, inflate the front plug and begin to seal the line. Right. To start our testing, let's go ahead and get our pressure going to that front plug. Once we've reached the required inflation pressure, close our valve, lock out our regulator, and we're now to go start the test to actually test the space between the two plugs. Normally this is done from one manhole to the next to actually do the whole line in one shot completely. Alright, now that we've got our back plug set and the end of the line sealed, got our plug up to pressure, we've got the front plug set, secured blocked and braced and it up to pressure. We're now ready to do the air test in between. So from this point, you're basically going to make sure that you come to your valve and control to get your pressure. Normally it's three and a half to five PSI for a certain length of time depending on the size of the pipe and the length of the run. So here we go. At this point in time, most of the inspectors would say, okay, let's start our time, depending again on the length of the run and the size of the pipe, to not lose more than one PSI in the certain length of that time. So here we are at this. We should have the same pressure on our line. And once the inspector says that we're good to go, from there we're back to coming to exhausting the pipe, or exhausting the pressure between the plugs, and then being able to release the pressure and pull the plugs from the end of the test. You've exhausted the pressure and you definitely want to make sure you exhaust your pressure first before trying to deflate your front or back plug because it may overextend the blocking and bracing that you have in place and it may not hold and you may have the plugs come dislodged out of the pipe. Now we're going to come to our front test plug. 
exhaust the pressure there. Now we can come to our back plug and exhaust the pressure here. And at this point in time, now we can go to the next line for manhole to manhole to start the next line acceptance test to the next length of pipe. Just a final note on our line acceptance test kit, air test panel, hose, and plug configuration. We've tried to make this as most user friendly and as easy to put together as possible. Knowing that your lines are all color coded for the plug to the panel, all of these lines are color coded so you cannot get them mixed up and cannot make a mistake. Uh, through some of the training videos that we've done, we want to make sure that you take note to follow all safety precautions and procedures when handling pipe plugs or pipe testing equipment. Make sure you're also following any regulations, whether it be uh, city, state, or county, and follow the guidelines of your confined space entries. So thank you again for taking the time to watch our video, and we look forward to you having a safe day and completing your project correctly.